Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the Cordial Media YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name is Adriana and I run the Pinterest marketing agency, Cordial Media, where we offer do it for you services when it comes to all things Pinterest marketing. In today's video, I am going to teach you exactly how to set up your Pinterest boards so you can attract your ideal customer, you can convert more viewers into buyers, and so you can improve your pin rankings on the platform. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button and to hit the bell to be notified every single time I post a new video here on the Cordial Media YouTube channel. So I'm going to show you how to set up your Pinterest boards on your profile. The first, first, first thing you're gonna do before you bother really creating any boards is you're gonna look at all the categories within your business. Okay, let's take a Shopify store, for example, that sells retail related items or like clothing related items. So for example, let's say the store sells t-shirts, mugs, and shorts. Okay. Well, those are three categories within their business that they are going to want to create boards for. And for each category within the, their business or within your business, you are going to break it down by subcategories. Each subcategory is basically going to be the theme of every board you're going to create. So let's say for t-shirts, you have two subcategories. One is women's t-shirts. One is men's t-shirts. Those are going to be the themes that you're going to use for two of your boards, okay? But for each category, I, do, I like to create three to five boards. So let's say you have two subcategories within your t-shirt category. Well, that means each subcategory can have two boards. So each subcategory um, combined would make four boards for one category. Does that make sense? So let's just break it down again. Your t-shirt category, you're going to have about four boards. Two are going to be women's t-shirts themed and two are going to be men's t-shirt themed. This is just an example. You're going to want to apply these examples to your own business as well. In my case, I run a Pinterest marketing agency, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. And so I am going to show you how I'm going to create boards for a new category in my business. A new category is Pinterest advertising. So that is my category that I have in mind. For my category, I know that I wanna create three to five boards. So I'm going to start off by doing keyword research. Now I like to use the search bar to do keyword research, but there are five ways to do keyword research on Pinterest. And you can check out my video on how to do keyword research in the description box below. So I'm gonna to go to the search bar and I'm going to start typing keywords that I could use for my board titles, okay? So let me go over here, start by typing Pinterest. And then I wanna create boards for my for Pinterest advertising. So let's say what comes up, whoops. If I do put, put, put a type Pinterest advertising, okay, so Pinterest advertising, these are all the keywords that come up. So these are key, the keywords I'm going to use for my titles. So let's say over here, we've got Pinterest advertising tips is one, Pinterest ads, advertising, advertising on Pinterest marketing, advertising on Pinterest business. So these are a bunch of good keywords that I can use. So I'm going to copy this first one, and this is going to be the title of my first board related to Pinterest advertising. So I'm going to go to my profile, scroll down under the saved tab. I'm going to go over here, the plus, and I'm going to create board and I'm going to paste the name. Now I like to keep it the same aesthetic as everything else. So um, my titles all have the first letter capital of each word. For all my boards, so I'm going to do it this way. You can make it secret at first if you want to take time to, to fill it, or you could just create it right away. So I'm going to create it like this. It's going to be blank for now, and eventually I will pin to it. Now, again, you're going to want to start creating all of your Pinterest boards based on the keyword research that you did. So this is just one example, but let's say like I wanted to create three boards. I would, I, the first one is going to be Pinterest advertising tips. The, the second one would be another keyword that I found like advertising on Pinterest, for example, and so on and so forth. So at the end of the day, I'm going to have three boards 
for Pinterest advertising as a category within my business. And like that, I have a variety of boards that I can pin to when I am talking about the Pinterest advertising subject. Once I created my board and I have my keyword a rich board title, I'm going to go ahead and create the board description. Now, if you need a board description, you can download my board description template in the description box below, because the advantage of this template is that one, it tells you exactly where to integrate keywords. It tells you where to add branding and it respects the Pinterest best practices. So for example, the Pinterest best practices when it comes to a board descriptions include not having hashtags. Comment below if you knew that we didn't need hashtags within board descriptions. It includes not keyword stuffing and it includes making sure you have your branding. It also includes making sure you have call to action. So you can download that in the description box below. For example, I'm going to run my board description in a way that ensures that I respect um, having enough long tail keywords for the board. Now, a lot of people say that creating board descriptions is useless. In my opinion, it is not useless. I've seen it help increase monthly views and impressions dramatically, and it helps your relevancy score when it comes to your pins, which means Pinterest is a much easier time ranking your content in the algorithm when you do include a board description within your board. So let's go ahead and write it just to give you an idea. I always start this way. You will see that in the uh, board description template that I always start this way to the Pinterest advertising tips board by cordial media in this oops, on this board you find a variety of tips and tricks all about and then here where I would write a long tail oof, keyword. So you see, this is kind of how the board description template looks like. It contains little brackets like this, where you would just insert your long tail keywords. Um, this requires doing keyword research, as I showed you earlier. Again, if you want to learn really in depth how to do keyword research on Pinterest, check out my video in the description box below. But that's it, that's all it takes. So, so once you are able to break down the categories in your business, think of a theme for every single board you wanna create based on the categories in your business. Then you do your keyword research based on the theme, you choose a long tail keyword for your a board name, and then you write your keyword rich description that respects the Pinterest best practices thanks to the template that you downloaded. Well, that concludes today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to write your question in the comment box below. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.